Inflation Reduction Act 2022. Welcome back, everyone. So happy to have you back for another breaking news and update. What is Inflation Reduction Act? Well, the legislation was passed through the budget reconciliation process, which means all 50 Democrats and one tiebreaker vote from Vice President Harris uh, were needed since none of the 50 Republican senators voted for the bill. All right, so all Senate Republicans voted against the bill saying it would eliminate jobs and inflate prices further. Uh, economics say the bill will likely reduce uh, inflationary prices, although it may do so only moderately. They also say it is a likely consumers won't feel the effects right away. Rather, the bill makes long-term investments. So the bill is looking like you will not see any immediate benefit from this bill in your everyday lives. All right. So creation of a 15 percent corporate minimum tax corporations with at least 1 billion in income will have a new tax rate of 15 percent taxes on individuals and households won't increase uh, stock buybacks by corporation will face a one percent excise tax secondly prescription drug price reform. One of the most significant provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act will allow Medicare to negotiate the price of certain prescription drugs, bringing down the price beneficiaries will pay for their medication. So that is a plus. Medicare recipients will have a $2,000 cap on annual out-of-pocket prescription drug costs starting in 2025. So that is definitely a plus from the bill that some uh, will benefit from. Also, the IRS has been uh, sounding the alarm that they need more funding. So it is saying here that with the Inflation Reduction Act, the bill will invest $80 billion in the IRS tax system for improvements. And we all know they need that they need that like yesterday, all right? Moving on, uh, currently medical insurance premiums under the ACA uh, are subsidized by the federal government to lower premiums. These subsidies, which are scheduled to expire at the end of this year, would be extended through the Inflation Reduction Act, it says through 2025, approximately 3 million Americans could lose their health insurance if these subsidies aren't extended. Uh, also, the bill includes numerous investments in climate protection, including tax credits for households to offset energy costs, investments in clean energy production, and tax credits aim at reducing carbon uh, emissions. All right. Now, study shows that uh, the bill will not have a huge impact on inflation like i mentioned earlier uh it says that it may in the future you may see some benefits of this bill so if you're looking for immediate relief in terms of inflation prices and all that is happening right now mm, it's it's not much happening for us in our everyday lives all right make sure to like comment, share, and give your thoughts on the Inflation Reduction Act. And I will see every one of you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.